Now, Sheikh, why do you love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Where does one begin in describing the love for the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ how do we describe the love for the greatest human being who ever walked the face of this earth? I love the Prophet wasallam because he was the embodiment of human perfection. Every single characteristic that is praiseworthy was shown in him, through him, by him, in the manner and to the level that is the most praiseworthy. I love the Prophet wasallam because his name is the most praiseworthy. He is Ahmad, so the highest quality of praise goes to him. And he is Muhammad, so the most quantity of praise goes to him out of any human being. Not a millisecond goes by except that millions, nay, billions of people across the globe are sending salawat and salam upon our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose his heart to be the recipient of the Quran. As Allah says, نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ لِتَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُنذِرِينَ So from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala down to the qalb of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the Quran was revealed. And from his qalb, through his blessed mouth and tongue, it was recited to all of mankind. So we have the Quran through the heart and the tongue of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I love our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam because he taught us about our Lord, about the meaning of life and death, about the realities of death. Allah says, وَمَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ You did not used to know what was the book at what was Iman until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the nur down to him. I love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because throughout his life he exuded utmost dignity and respect. Never once in his entire life did he complain to any man about any treatment he received. Never once did he ask for favors from the creation. He lowered his head to none except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the pinnacle of dignity and respect. I love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he was the most confident and he was the most brave. Never did he flinch, never did he wince, never did he exhibit any fear. Even when he took precautions, he did so with a calmness and a wisdom, not out of frantic cowardice like others do. He was the embodiment and the pinnacle of bravery and shuja'ah. I love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he was the most generous of all of mankind. He never said no to anyone. When the man came and asked him a new cloak he was wearing, he went back inside, changed his garments, and gave him the cloak that he had just worn. And he never once said no. Anas bin Malik said his generosity was like the wind that everybody felt. I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because in a society and even in a world where racism was the norm, where class and ethnic prejudices were embodied in, in the human psyche, he came and the first human human being to ever say la fadla li arabiyan ala ajamiyan wala li abyada ala aswada illa bit taqwa there is no superiority based upon your ethnicity based upon your skin color i love the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because in a time and a place where women were mistreated where girls were abandoned where baby infants were buried alive where wives were inherited where women were regularly beaten he came sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said the best amongst you o men are those who treat the women the best and he never once lived lifted a finger against a lady. I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he was the most handsome and the most beautiful human being in persona and in person, in his physical appearance and in his akhlaq. He was more handsome than the full moon. I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he inspired love and he inspired loyalty. What man is there that people around him automatically loved him simply by looking upon him? Abdullah ibn Salam said, I looked his face and I knew that this person is not a liar. Simply by his appearance he was giving da'wah. Simply his demeanor and his looks were so handsome that people embraced Islam upon gazing upon that noble and blessed face. I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because the people around him were willing to sacrifice themselves and their loved ones for him. What type of loyalty is inspired? As the Qurashi said, that I visited the kings of Heraclius of Rome and the emperors of Persia, and none of them inspired their followers like this man inspired his followers. They would address him by saying, Bi Abi Anta wa Ummiya. 
Ya Rasulullah, I will give my mother and father to sacrifice and in ransom for you, Ya Rasulullah. I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he loved all of us. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتُّمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفُ الرَّحِيمُ He is full of rahma and full of ra'fa for the believers. He loves us. How can we not love him back? I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he preferred us over himself and over his own needs. As he says in the hadith that every single Prophet was given one dua that Allah guaranteed that he shall answer. Subhanallah, what was that dua that he could have made? Look at how many desires he might have had. He loved his uncle Abu Talib. If he had raised his hands to Allah, he, he could have said, Oh Allah, please cause my uncle to embrace Islam. He loved his wife Khadija who passed away at a younger age. If he wanted to, he could have raised his hands and said, Oh Allah, allow my wife to be with me until I pass away. He could have made that dua for any personal need. How many times throughout his life he was faced with a challenge and he could have used that dua. But what did he say? Bi abi anta wa ummi ya Rasulullah. He said, I took that dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave and I kept it. Ikhtaba'tuha. I kept it with me and I'm going to keep it with me until the day of judgment and I will use it. What did he say? For my ummah, he said. I will use it for my ummah. He sacrificed the dua for every single personal need of his that he could have possibly had. And he said, I'm going to use it for my ummah. Anybody who says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, that they will come on the day of judgment judgment and I will make dua to Allah that they enter Jannah. So every single ummati of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's ummah, that person who had an ounce of Iman, that person shall eventually enter Jannah. Why? Because our Nabi, our Rasul, the Habib and Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he kept that one dua, that one wish. Every Nabi used his dua in this dunya. Every Rasul took that dua and utilized it for some need, for some haja. One Nabi, one Rasul stood up and he said, I will save this and I will use it on the day of judgment, not for a personal need, not for my uncle or for my wife or for my this and that. No, I will save it for those who believe in me. So when he sacrificed that one dua for all of us, the least that we can do be Abi Anta wa Ummi Ya Rasulullah is we love him more than we love ourselves and we love him more than we love any possession and any belongings. How can any person not love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi I love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for more reasons than I can ever explain. And my only wish is that because of this meager love that we have, even though we have not lived up to that love, even though we have not embodied that love, I have failed in expressing that love properly. And I have failed in living up to the very teachings that he himself left upon us. We ask Allah's forgiveness and afiyah. We have failed in living up to what we claim is that love. And I'm the first to admit this, but Allah knows there is a love. And we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that because of that love, no matter how meager, no matter how weak, no matter how imperfect from my side, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that on the day of judgment that love is rewarded by being in the company of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and attaining his shafa'ah on the day of, jay, a day of judgment. Birahmatik ya arhamar rahimin. Kathabat aadun al-mursaleen Ith qala lahum makhuhum hudun ala tattaqoon Inni lakum rasoolun ameenun فاتقوا الله واطيعون